Hey, greetings from my car. Um, we're in Halifax, just finished up a special event here along the Halifax waterfront with Privateers 1882, the local supporter group for the Halifax Wanderers. We just had this event where uh, all the supporters uh, got together and the entire Halifax Wanderers FC team was there. Everybody got to meet the players. I got to talk with some of them. Head coach Stephen Hart as well. Big thrill for me to be able to do that. Uh, the Privateers were picking up their jerseys as well. Everybody getting suited up in the colors as they get ready for the home opener coming up on May the 4th here in Halifax. Want to see how it all went down? Let's take a look inside. Coming to the uh, the Wanderers, I mean, a, a challenge to put a team for together from scratch, but this is an opportunity I think most managers would kill for to be able to build a team from the ground up like that, and you get a chance that most never do. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's, it's I don't really see it as a challenge, I more see it like an exciting adventure. Um, but yeah, a, a lot of people would love to be in this situation, and uh, it's been, so far, it's been uh, a lot of fun. Uh, a fairly natural uh, fit with you uh, coming to the Halifax Wanderers and uh, being the first manager. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, uh, Derek Martin said it uh, when, he, when we were first talking. He goes, you know, we really can't have a team here if you are not involved. And uh, I, I was flattered, really. And, and it's, it's been good. It's been really, really good. Good for the city. Good to see the support. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, it's, I mean, just looking around that room, not only is the place packed to the gills, but, you know, everybody lined up to get their hands on the jerseys, everybody's so excited, and the crowd already singing for the team in there, you know, it's, it's got to feel good to see the support. Yeah, and, uh, you know, um, the first game sold out, uh, and um, the, the support has been, been tremendous. From, from the time they announced that they potentially was going to have a team, we saw the support build into what it is now and, and I was really surprised when I walked out those doors um, here at, at, at the garrison. Uh, it, was, it was just packed with people. Did you get any uh, scouting done down in the Caribbean or was it just focused on your own team? No, I mean I, I, I just focused on my team and, and uh, you know it's more important to, to do what you do well and I'll, I'll have enough time to, to see the opposition, um, with the exception of, of Pacific, of course. Uh, we, we'll be both going into that game kind of blind. Growing up playing pro soccer is a dream. You always see, you know, kids in other cities, they're able to grow up, especially in Europe, dreaming of playing for their own local team and to have that available in Halifax now and to be able to do it in its, its first year. I mean, it really is a dream come true. It, it's so, so surreal. I didn't realize how much it means until you come out to events like this and you see how much it means to the city. It just means so much more and keeps us motivated and it's it's amazing. It's awesome. Yeah, packed in there tonight. Everybody's singing already uh, yeah. to the team. It is it is going to be loud at the, the Wanderers grounds for sure. Yeah, I mean, I... I thought it was going to be loud, and then I come here, and they're singing like this. Now, now I don't even know what to expect. It's going to be rocking come May fourth. I'm so excited. It's it's going to be too loud. I don't even know if we're going to be able to yell at their defenders. It's going to be that loud out, out there. You come in as going from a number one guy in yeah. SMU and and playing uh, around here to now being uh, you know the number two guy uh, learning under him. Uh, how do you adjust into that role? Oh, I mean, it's it's pretty easy to do when you have a guy like Ian in front of you. I mean. You just go out there every day, especially in training. I'm learning so much from them. I'd be, I'd be dumb if I went out there and I was, you know, didn't didn't make the most of this opportunity to be behind one of the most decorated keepers in Concacaf in the last decade. To say he's he's one of the he's an amazing guy, an amazing keeper, and like learning so much from him this early in my career, it's it's going to be invaluable, and I think it's really going to help longevity my career in the long run for sure. 
Well, we, we hope it does uh, help your career. You've got the natural skills that you and I said before I hit record, you know, goaltending runs in your family, really. Yeah, uh, yeah. You've already got a national championship, and your brother's going for one this week. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's up to on uh, Ontario this week. It's funny, both of us have been getting a lot of attention uh, lately, but we actually have to have a third brother, too, that we have to start mentioning, because, <laughs> you know, he's, he's getting a little jealous there, too. But, yeah, I wish him all the luck in Ontario, and I think they're going to do really well up there. Supporters are gelling really nicely with the team. We're mingling, and uh, game day should be a really fun experience for everyone on the pitch and off the pitch. Absolutely. I mean, that's uh, a good chunk of the kitchen is uh, is in there tonight, and uh, they're so excited to uh, get to meet all of you guys. They were already singing for you in there tonight. That's got to feel good. Yeah, that, that section, I'm sure, is going to be pretty wild on game day, and I can't wait to see them over there with their blue memorabilia and the jerseys and everything, just providing a special atmosphere to the game. Tell me about uh, going down to the uh, the Caribbean for uh, for training down there. I mean, you know, it, it's been a lot's been made of you know, you know yourself that's still in high school and the like, and trying to fit in with the team at the same time. So, you know, what are some of the, the challenges you've been through with this? Okay, go on. Okay, Chucky. Okay. No, as you can see, I got teased a little bit off the field. No, teased. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this this is what I get on and off the pitch, you know, some teasing, whatever, get over it. It's, it's all fun and games, though, but the team's really gelling together well, and I think we get along really well. Oh, that's fantastic. It's it, <laughs> I don't mind having an interview interrupted like that. Yeah. It's great having the, the guys go bond and, yeah. uh, you know, and see that camaraderie there. You know, we're building a team from scratch, and that's not easy, and uh, you've got a real mix of guys there, you know, there's a couple of local guys, there's half the players seem to have been through the Impact Academy at one point, and then you've got Trinidad and Germany influences and, and guys from all over the place. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, a lot of different nationalities and places around the world with different languages, and actually the people from the, the Impact Academy, they it's a lot of French, a lot of French-speaking players on this team, and I'm trying to improve my French as well. You yep. take it in school, but I'm trying to improve with them, and it's different, a lot of slang, but I'm trying to get used to it, so yeah, it's a, it's a bit new. Yeah, that's probably good if you can learn to communicate on the pitch in, at least figure out what pass me the ball is in yeah, French, you know? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, best of luck this season, Scott. Thank you. You need a very, a very passionate crowd, a, a very passionate kitchen, and um, I think it's, it's one of those atmospheres that I would like to see be known as the best atmosphere in this city. Thanks for Stephen Hart and the Halifax Rover Squad.